Hello YouTube. A couple days ago I have decided that I'm going to start using Linux and I wanted to see how Unity works on uh, on Linux. And this is the Unity uh, 2017.2.0 F1 personal 64 bit and it runs on Linux Mint 18.2 Cinnamon 64 bit also. And it works quite fine but there is a one very annoying issue uh, I've decided as a first project to make simple hello world application for Android and this is how it looks like mm, as you can see the scene is basically empty there's only main camera and directional light only one scene mm, in build settings uh, platform is Android that one scene and in player settings I have changed only package name so this is very 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 simple very basic application that I'm going to run on uh, Android device and unfortunately I cannot do that I can build uh, the application because unity generates APK file but it has problems with uh, transferring and installing this file on device uh, I'll show you this this error deploying <coughs> and it failed in console you're gonna see uh, two uh, the same identical error messages uh, command invocation failure unable to forward network um, traffic to device please make sure the Android SDK is installed and it's properly configured in the editor see the console for more details okay uh, it happens every single time so basically I cannot uh, run uh, my application on uh, Android device and I have figured out a workaround for it and I want to share this workaround with you right now so in order to fix that you have to open the terminal type sudo space now copy this comment here this line because this is the comment that uh, unity invokes copy paste now close the unity okay it's closed press enter now you have to type uh, password for uh, root Okay, it's done. Close uh, the terminal and reopen the Unity. Unity. That's our project. There is another error message. Socket being failed error address already in use but this error we can simply ignore and let's try rebuild it And as you can see there is no errors anymore and it works on my phone so that's how you can solve that problem and since now on you can make as many builds as you want but you have to remember that after uh, restarting your computer you will have to repeat the uh, whole procedure once again so probably you're gonna uh, you're gonna be forced to um, make that procedure do that procedure uh, once a day at least <laughs> but at least uh, right now I can start uh, this app on uh, Android device. So that's all for today. Have a nice day. Bye.